Comes the Torah to Moshe and say, come, the, come one Jew and say to the crowd, excuse me ladies and gentlemen, anybody heard here God speaking to Moses and giving him authority to be the leader? Please raise his hand. We are not interested to get it. We are free people. We want to do whatever we want. Like today, people don't want to be religious. What made millions of people all of a sudden became 100% strict and follow the rules, the fact that they heard God? Now, you may come and say, well, how do we know about the oral laws? Very simple. If you search in the entire written Torah, there are 613 laws, not in one place. The Torah gave instructions, the written Torah, the Torah never gave instructions for people how to follow this mitzvah, this commandment. Which one? All of them. The 613 laws that describe in the Torah, without the oral laws, there is no way to understand one law. Such, I'll give you an example. The Torah say you have to circumcise a male born on the eighth day. You should cut the orla. We know what we cut when we circumcise the baby. Now, if we wouldn't have the oral laws, right when Moses bring down the Torah, people will say, what do you brought us, Chinese book? Okay, you, God say we should not cut the orla. What's orla? Mordechai would say, orla it's this. He would say, orla it's this. He, she would say, orla it's the nails. He would say, Moshe, Moses, what's orla? There's no oral Torah according to your opinion. What, what's Orla? Where we have to cut? God said that if we don't cut it, we're not Jews. We want to be Jews. But God didn't tell us where to cut. Is it possible? Yeah, I'm losing my eternity if I'm not circumcised my children. And God will not tell me even Aleph Bet how to do it, how to cut. What happened when the baby is sick? One question. Second, the Sabbath. The Sabbath. I got to keep the laws of the Sabbath. I don't know if you know. But there are, may I, thousands, may I interject? Th there are thousands of laws. They hear you every week. Maybe I can say something. <laughs> no, I'm answering what you ask about the oral laws. You ask me a question, I'm answering We you. need new rules. That's what we need. Okay, so you say it like this. You say the oral we laws. We need an oral law for our discussion here. I'm asking. I'm asking. Uh, you ask me a question, I'm answering you. And the point is like this, God say you have to observe the Sabbath and a person that does not observe the Sabbath accept him, ex exclude himself from Judaism. Why? It's the covenant that we made with God. It's applied to Jews, by the way, also. Not only to non-Jews. But a Jew that refused to keep the law of the Sabbath, he puts himself in violation. And he is not able to do certain Jewish holy ceremony. Why? Because it's the covenant that God made with the Jewish nation for eternity. That's the word of the, of the Torah. Now, where does it say in the written Torah, from the thousands of laws that we keep, most of us here, where does it say it? Comes the Torah in 12 different places and say that a Jew does not keep the law of the Sabbath, he will be stoned to death, and his soul will cut for eternity. Tell me please, in the entire written Torah, God comes and gives me an order. You should keep the Sabbath. You should not do any work in Sabbath. Comes a Jew that just accepted the book and said, Okay, God, I'm willing to listen to you. Where are the instructions? There's nowhere in the world where it's a one detail about the Sabbath. Same thing to fill in. The same thing, each one of the laws. Comes the Torah and separate between the written laws and the oral laws. And you know why? <clears throat> the non-Jews will not have it. Okay. Because if the non-Jews will have it in their hand today, nobody in the world will know if he is an original descendant of the Jewish nation. Why? Everybody wanted to be a son of God in that generation. Because the Goim, the non-Jews, they wanted to be religious as, as they are today. They want to join the nation of God who everybody admit that got the Torah from Mount Sinai. Everybody, the Goim, admit it. And they translated it to 70 languages which show interest. So uh, what do we have Yosef, to do? Yosef, if wait a second. Will be wait in the a book, second. Wait a second. We will become Jews. You know, in two you're minutes. somebody who cares a lot about evidence, and yes. I, I respect that. And and you say that there must be an oral law because if there was no oral law, we wouldn't know how to circumcise. Not even a simple law. Okay. We would not but know. Abraham was somehow able to circumcise, and he didn't have any oral law. The oral law, according to you, what didn't come until Moses. How was it that Abraham was able to 
Be a Jew and live before God and not have the oral law. Maybe there are other ways that they were able to follow the law without some mythical oral law for which you have no evidence. I have news for you. There is a sentence in the Torah that says that I loved Abraham because he kept my Torahs, again, plural, written, and the oral, and the laws and everything. Ekev asher shamar Avraham et Torotai mitzvotai vechukotai. Avraham kept all my laws. Comes the oral Torah and ask your question. The oral Torah say how... Just prove my point. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, the opposite. I'll tell you how you prove my point. When you said that Abraham kept my Torahs, that proves the point that Torahs are instructions or laws and not two separate bodies. Because according to Jewish tradition, there was no oral law until Moses. Who kept, who gave, who gave Abraham all the instructions, what to do and how to do, before the Torah was published? I, uh, and I want to get your attention to one thing that the Torah says, that before the world was created, 974 generations before, before the Torah was ready, before the physical world was created. And before everything here started, the divine Torah was already existed. Now, if you know about Noah after the, uh, the flood... I need some evidence on that. Okay, no problem. If, no, if, no, if Noah, after the flood, when he came out of the ark, how did he know how to tell the difference between pure animals and not pure animals? The oral Torah answer, because God gave the main people from the time of Adam. Every person that the Torah highlight had all the laws of the Torah for him and all his followers until it was published in front of millions of people. And by the way, you should know that even the Sabbath was given a little bit before Mount Sinai. And now, you have to also remember one thing. There was, if a person wanted to keep the laws of the written Torah, no, every Jew will do it completely different than the other. Now, you know that the Jews were living in exile for more than 2,000 years until about 60 years ago they started to gather in Israel. You also know there were no internet, no telephones, no communication, and the Jews were spread all over the world with no communication. Now, you also know that when the time, when the Yemenites, for instance, way before the destruction of the temple, they went to Yemen, and the Jews were spread all over the world, and they gathered to Israel, as I said, just before Israel became a state, each one of them brought with him, with his family, thousands of oral laws that did not change a bit. Circumcision in Yemen was the same one in Poland, and the same thing in the Torah. The Jewish Torah have 304,805 letters, much longer than the, Old Test than the New Testament, much longer than the Koran. If you go to every synagogue in the world, you tell the rabbi to open the Torah, the Torah, it's one, the, it's, the Torah is the same Torah. Everywhere you go, you see the same Torah. However, when you want to open up Koran in Kuwait and Koran in Saudi Arabia, and Quran in Israel, it's not the same Quran, there are many differences. Same thing the New Testament, as I mentioned to you before. 150,000 differences on the text. Very simple. What do you, I, I'm confused about that. What are you referring to when you say 150,000 different differences? I'll, I'll, I'll explain. If I bought the original book now, and there we have Baruch Hashem a lot of people here, and each one of them had to take a feather and copy even only 100,000 letters. That's all. Each one has to copy. Now remember, there's no printing machine. So I have to see it from morning to night and write a page, two page. It takes between one to two years to write a Sefer Torah. So now, if a person does it, what are the chances that a person will write manu 